Hey guys, happy Wednesday, August 31st, 2022. A very windy August 31st, 2022. Yeah, I cannot believe August is over and September is upon us. I would say maybe even fall is upon us. It doesn't feel like fall today. It's about as windy as fall, but it doesn't feel like a fall day. It's actually quite warm out today, but I don't know. I would say once, um, once September hits, it's time to start celebrating the fall season. I would say you can start getting ready for Halloween, start celebrating fall festivals. I don't know, how about you guys? When do you, when do you start celebrating fall? Do you wait till October or once September hits, you figure, all right, we can, we can definitely start celebrating fall. For me, I'm gonna say September. But anyway, we're not here to talk about fall. We're actually here to talk about something pretty awesome. We're here in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, right on the border of Phoenixville, Pennsylvania and Montclair, Pennsylvania. Right over there is the Schuylkill River. And we're here at Platform One Events at the Columbia Station. As you can see, they do social, wedding, and corporate events out here. Now, as a big fan of trains, as a train enthusiast, this place definitely is something I've wanted to see for a long time. So I figured today we would finally pull over and check this place out. I'm pretty excited. We're here at the Columbia Station. Look at this, the Columbia Train Station. Why they call it the Columbia Train Station, I'm not entirely sure because everything I saw online was calling this the Phoenixville Train Station. All information I could find called this the Phoenixville Train Station, though I did see that online apparently that there were at least three different Phoenixville train stations. So my assumption is maybe each station had its own name because obviously if there were three different train stations in one town, just saying the Phoenixville Station would be very very confusing so i'm guessing this maybe was the columbia station at one point that's what it was called to make it different than the other three stations i'm just guessing all three stations had their own names so again we're here at the columbia station aka the phoenixville train station here in phoenixville pennsylvania this is actually built by the reading railroad company back in 1865 look at how beautiful this thing is it is made of stone and iron look at the iron work on the awning that is incredibly beautiful. I've driven past this so many times, either driving into Phoenixville, Pennsylvania or into Montclair. That I've never actually pulled over to check it out. And I'm very happy I did today because this is a beautiful, beautiful train station now used as an event center, which is awesome. I love when companies take these old buildings and save them from being dis demolished because a lot of these places eventually get torn down. They'll build housing or something like that out here. It's really awesome to see a place like this being saved. The actual train station in my hometown was saved. It's now, it's a much smaller train station, but it's now a, um, a ice cream store. So I love it. I love when they take these old train stations and convert them into something else. I mean, yes, don't get me wrong. I would love to see it still actually being used as a train station or maybe even a museum. That'd be pretty awesome. But if they can just save it in general, even if they do turn it into something else, I love seeing a place like this saved a historical place like this saved and hopefully something that'll be around forever for people to see. So they have completely renovated this place because again, they do events in here now. Look at the train up there. That is bizarre. I love that. No idea why there's a random train caboose. I mean, I guess, I mean, I, I get the, I get the theming, I get the idea, but still so weird for there to be a random train caboose up there. That is bizarre, but they've completely renovated the place because now again, they do events here for your weddings or for your corporate events or whatever. This place is amazing. Look at this old door right here. Could you imagine back in the day, you wanted to head to either to Reading, Pennsylvania, or maybe into, into Philadelphia. You came here to the train station, you bought your ticket, probably dressed in your Sunday best. I mean, think about pictures you've seen of people out having fun back in the late 1800s or the early 1900s. They're always dressed in those big, beautiful dresses, the men in their suits with their top hats on. Everybody dressed their best back in the day. And I can just imagine right here, on this platform, men, women, and children dressed as nice as they could possibly be to go visit family, to go visit friends, maybe to go do some shopping down in Philadelphia. That must have been a great event, a fantastic day for the family to go out. Look at it in here. So as you can see, completely renovated, now just tables and a bar and whatnot. But back in the day, that was the actual train station. You go in there, you buy your tickets, you wait for your train to come. Must have been so cool. And again, I'm loving the stonework and the ironwork. Look at that ornate ironwork there on the awning. Look at the old lights. This is a beautiful, beautiful station. They don't make things like this anymore, unfortunately. Nowadays, if they were to build a train station now, it'd either be made out of cinder block or it'd just be made out of like some, I, I don't know, some steel columns with some with some like sheet metal put up. That's, that's all it would be. You would not see a nice, beautiful stone structure like this anymore. They just, they just don't do this and I don't know why. 
This is, I mean, well, okay, I get it. It's money. It's cost effective to just build something made out of sheet metal. I, I get it. Cost effective, but I mean, this is going to stand the test of time. There's like those sheet metal cinder block buildings. Those are going to get knocked down. Those will not be around forever. Something like this could possibly be around forever, and I hope it is because it's beautiful. So they actually do not run passenger lines out here anymore, but this train, the, the train, the rail line is actually still used for commercial trains. I have seen trains come by here. In fact, just yesterday when I was driving under the uh, train trussle, a train was coming by. So these tracks are still in use, which is why it says no trespassing over there on that sign. You cannot actually go past this gate because again, these actual tracks are still being used by commercial trains heading down either to Philadelphia or into Reading, Pennsylvania. So pretty awesome. I do wish they would bring back though, actual passenger lines. They have been talking about that for a while now. Ever since I was a little kid, there was always talk about the possibility of them bringing back passenger lines running all the way down to Reading and to Philly. Actually, I heard even possibly going past Reading. Oh, something's going on. There's a, there are some fire trucks coming down the road right now. So anyway, there's always been the, the talk of them possibly at some point expanding the, the rail lines out. Oh, look at this. I, I didn't even realize I walked right past that. Look, okay, whoa, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we're, we're gonna walk down this way now because that is, a, that is a hornet nest that I walked right past, did not even see that. So like I said, they've actually been talking about for years, ever since I was a little kid, about the possibility of expanding a line all the way from Philadelphia back down to Reading and possibly past Reading yet. However, that has never actually happened. They're still in talks about possibly doing that. I would love to see something like that happen because as a kid, I used to get, to get a train from Norristown, Pennsylvania, which is a little bit of a ways from my house, down to Philadelphia to visit friends who actually live down in Philadelphia. So it would have been really nice had my actual hometown, or at least an area like this in Phoenixville, which isn't too far away from where I lived as a kid, if something like this would still exist and they'd actually have a rail line running from here to Philadelphia. That'd be really, really cool. So I hope they do eventually bring something like that back. But again, it's been in the talks ever since I was a little kid. They've been talking about that. Will it actually ever happen? Who knows? For some reason here in the United States, we have, um, I don't know, something against rail lines. We just, we just don't like trains for some reason. They always talk about putting in high-speed trains. They always talk about um, expanding rail lines out and putting rail lines between this town and this town, and they never actually do it. I don't know why. So hopefully they'll come back at some day, and who knows, maybe even there'll be a stop here in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. Look at this building. I am so happy this has been saved. It is a beautiful, beautiful building. I'm loving it. But again, we can't actually go back onto the train tracks, unfortunately. There's a sign here that says, no guests beyond this point, trespassers will be prosecuted. So we can't actually go back there, sadly. But it's still really, really awesome just to at least be able to walk out here and take a look at this train station. Look at that. So just think at one point back, back here, was your, where you were actually waiting for your train. Look at that. I mean, could you just imagine again, back in the day, being out there on the platform, waiting for your train to come, come and pick you up, either to take you into Philadelphia or to take you to Reading, Pennsylvania for a fun filled day, maybe with you and your family, going to visit your family, going to visit some friends, going to do some shopping. That must've been a great time. I, I wish we could experience something like that today, but still very cool. This place still is here to take a look at. If you are in the Phoenixville, Pennsylvania area, if you're into trains, this is definitely something to see, especially for something else we're about to take a look at right over here. So the train station in and of itself is really, really awesome. However, if you're into trains like I am, there's something over here on the property as well, which is really cool to take a look at. And I have to take a look at this. I actually didn't even know this was here until just recently because I think usually I'm driving from Phoenixville like into Montclair. And when you're driving down the road, you kind of don't see this unless you're really paying attention. Look at this caboose that's set off to the side. Look at that. How awesome is this? You guys know how much I love an old abandoned train. Oh my gosh, look at that. Looks like they've done some renovations. Looks like the floors, a new floor's put in, some new paints. But it's a little dirty inside there, so I don't think they actually use this for anything nowadays. Cabooses are so cool. I've actually been inside renovated cabooses. And they're really, really neat. I mean, they have sleeping compartments. There's a bathroom in here. Sometimes there's a little stove, a place where you can cook because this is where you would actually live 
if you were, well, working on the railroad, if you were working, if you were part of the train and you were working on the train, this is where your sleeping quarters would be and where you would actually live while the train was going from one destination to another. As you can see, the bunks are right up there and there's windows up there. The reason why there's windows are actually, as you can see, they're, they're extended out above the actual train there. The reason for that is so you can actually see out over the train. So if you wanted to see if anything was going on, see where you were, so you could actually look all the way out completely over the train and actually see the engine because you were extended up over top of the actual train itself. So this is really cool. I don't know what they do with this anymore, if they do anything with this anymore. If I was having an event out here, if I was having, let's say, my wedding out here, you better believe I'd be like, okay, I'll have my wedding here. However, me and my wife, we have to have our photos inside the caboose. Sweep it out. I want to have my I want to have my wedding photos inside the caboose. That's what I would be asking for. That is totally cool. Again, as a as a big train nuts, this place is so awesome. That caboose is really really cool. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I, I swear there were train lines back here somewhere. I saw online some people taking pictures. Yes, there are. You can see. We'll come back here. There are actually ra old rail lines here, as you can see. Look at look at that. I mean, these are definitely old 1800. I mean, I don't know if these rail lines were put down in the 1800s, but I guarantee you this whole rail line area was definitely put in here in the 1800s. Look at that. That is a cool little bonus if you come out here. Behind the caboose, there are actual old rail lines. That is so neat. Again, just as somebody who is obsessed with this kind of stuff, that's cool. It looks like you can actually come out to these. It looks like they do encourage you to check out the rail lines because there is this path here leading to them. So I'm guessing they don't care if you come out here. Oh God, that freaked me out. There is a, there's a wig <laughs> just for a very brief second. I almost thought I found a human head. I almost thought Gwyneth Paltrow's head was right there. That freaked me out. That, okay, that startled me for a second. I was, I was scared earlier by the hornet's nest. Now I was terrified by what I thought was actually a human head. That would have made for a very interesting video. Finding a human here, should I, I could do. There we go, should I do, then finding a human head as my as my thumbnail? Probably not, but still that's, that was creepy. So anyway guys, if you're in the trains, this is definitely a place to come out and check out. They got the old rail line there. They have the caboose you could check out. And of course the amazing 1865 train station look at that so cool so this is awesome this is neat up until 1981 this was still being used as a train station by septa this is too awesome too cool all right guys but that's with it i'm gonna let you guys go so again like i said if you're a train nut this is definitely a place to come out and check out here in phoenix old pennsylvania at platform one events right on the border of phoenix old pennsylvania and Montclair, Pennsylvania, right on the Schuylkill River. Totally awesome, totally cool. But again, guys, I'm gonna let you go. So as always, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and definitely check down below for links to Patreon. If you do become a patron, you do get a monthly postcard sent to you. In fact, tomorrow, I'll be sending out the first batch of postcards to patrons. So definitely check that out. Um, also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself Cinema Sickness and What's With Dave Today t-shirts. Proceeds from both Spreadshirt and from Patreon do go to help putting gas inside Vanabelle or in this case, inside Pumpkin. We took Pumpkin today. Inside Pumpkin so we can get out to fun, interesting places like this. It's very much appreciated. If you do subscribe, I will see you in tomorrow's video. So have a great Wednesday, guys. Have a fantastic day. And like I said, hit that subscribe button and then I will definitely see you in tomorrow's video. Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, Columbia Station, AKA Phoenixville Train Station. Totally awesome, totally cool. There's a good boost. All right, I'll see you guys next video. Have a good one, guys. Bye.